I'm Bridget Daly in Hollywood with an update on Beyonce's father, Matthew Knowles. Now, as you know, he was accused by Live Nation and others of stealing money from his daughter, but now he's speaking up about the claims. You talk so openly about letting your father go as your manager. How hard was it to come to that decision? One of the hardest things I've ever done. I needed boundaries. I needed a break. I needed my dad. And did you get your dad back? No. One man who doesn't deserve Father of the Year is Beyonce's father, Matthew Knowles. He might be responsible for making Beyonce famous, but he put her through hell while doing it. With drug benders and violent rages, he even once kicked Beyonce's cat out of anger. On top of that, he was cheating on her mother and had several other kids on the side. So let's get into it. Beyonce has gone through a lot of trauma in her life, and her father isn't exempt from that because he was a big part of her stardom and a big problem when she became a star. He was stealing money from her, he had issues with drugs, and he's been sued several times. Let's talk about Matthew Knowles and what he had put Beyonce through because he himself was sick. He was addicted to crack cocaine. This article reports secrets and rumors keep pouring out from Beyonce's new television all book. Now details of Matthew Knowles' lifetime of dirty dog ways are leaking, alleging that he cheated on her mother, Tina Knowles, mm, for ages and went on secret yayo ragers while the Destiny Child girls practice. They report Matthew was known to go in Tillman Garage and to do cocaine or other drugs during rehearsals for Beyonce's group. He would come back ranting and raving, yelling and carrying on. He would attend important meetings about her future career high as a kite. But even as those around Matthew began to notice his frequent drug-induced rages, he only increased his drug use. It was getting Getting out of control, he started lying more to Tina and giving her the impression that there were meetings going on when they weren't because he was actually having affairs with other women when he claims he was working on Destiny's Child. A source claims that Matthew's drug use fueled a sex addiction and he constantly cheated on Tina. It's actually one of the ex-coaches who are spilling this information. They claim the drug use became such a problem that Matthew turned on Tina and began stealing cash from the salon she owned at the time. She actually thought her best friend Vernell was stealing the money, but no, it was her husband, Matthew. Matthew. At one point, Matthew did get caught because Tina came across a bag of one of his drugs. And it was casually just on the floor of the kitchen in their home and must have fallen out of his jacket pocket. Back in 1992, this person claimed that this divisiveness caused them to be so distant they barely spoke to one another. As I've shared in this video, he seems to have issues with not only drugs and sex, but then getting on drugs and getting angry. Like we heard the word rage over and over again. And supposedly Beyonce went through some of the rage, like he took it out on her. Radar Online reports that Beyonce was at the receiving end of her father's anger. This person revealed that her father, Matthew, was allegedly in a fit at the home and he ended up kicking Beyonce's cat. Okay, anyone who would harm an animal is automatically a monster in my book. Matthew has admitted to being an alcoholic having issues with drugs and sex and having several affairs during his marriage. He actually went to a treatment facility in 1992 and in 1998. Despite Matthew having this rage, having these drug issues and cheating nonstop, they stayed married for a long time until 2009. They officially divorced in 2011, but they filed for divorce in 2009, one month after it was revealed that Matthew had gotten another woman pregnant, an actress named Alexandra. They had an 18-month affair fair. Alexandra first met Matthew while working for Microsoft in Seattle. Okay. She was helping close a business deal for Beyonce. Even though Matthew was married, she says he was relentless in pursuing her. He said, I'm going to stay in Seattle until you agree to have a drink with me. And he stayed for two or three weeks until I finally said yes. Wow. This began their two-year affair. Alexandra gave birth to their child in February 2010 and the following month, a DNA test 
proved that he was the father. The couple actually broke up in 2011 while he was in a feud with Beyonce. According to Alexandra, a financial audit was conducted against Matthew to see if he was cooking the books and profiting off of his daughter. She said, we had joint credit cards and bank accounts and after the audit started, he just cut them off. I left him. He didn't ever expect me to make that choice. I ended it because I'm better than that. Good for you, Alexandra. Alexandra confesses that she did not feel guilty for being with a married man. I was not conflicted about the situation because his marriage was not a functioning marriage. At one point, she even thought Matthew truly loved her, but it was a complex situation and the family structure had been fractured for a long time. Alexandra claims that she doesn't want anything to do with Matthew and she does not need any financial support, but she does hope one day that he will have a relationship with his father and his sister, Beyonce. Matthew has never met his son and does not pay child support. He doesn't want to. Alexandra was left bankrupt after attempting to collect support from him. Oh from him so i guess she tried but then was forced to move in with a friend but since then she's gone back on her feet so yeah she doesn't want his help there was some type of custody support agreement between the two because of course matthew didn't pay any of it and in 2014 the judge ruled that he had to pay but they also made his payments a lot less because he did not have much income alexandra suggested that she was to blame for tina and matthew's divorce however she believes that her son has faced the brunt of her actions actions. She has to answer some hard questions, like why has he never met his superstar big sister? She said, my main concern is dealing with what the child will ask. Like, why doesn't my father love me? It's a very human story, and I sit in the bathroom and cry sometimes. So it sounds really challenging, and I totally understand why she's in this tough place, because she doesn't really want anything to do with Matthew, but at the same time, this boy deserves a family. You guys are never going to believe this. This woman is Alexandra Wright, and this is her 13-year-old son, Alexander Nixon Knowles. Alexandra had an affair with Beyonce's dad, Matthew Knowles, and this baby was conceived out of that affair. She's now gone and done what feels like one of the most delusional interviews ever. She spoke to the son and details how Beyonce just bought the most expensive home in California while she lives 10 miles away in a trailer park with her son. She also claims that Matthew Knowles hasn't been paying child support and the entire basis of this interview is her trying to say that her son her affair baby keeps asking her why doesn't this person love me like why doesn't beyonce love me excuse me ma'am that is your responsibility to explain beyonce is not responsible for this situation i totally agree why would matthew her father her problematic father his problems be beyonce's problems at all and i don't really like the fact that she's trying to push this whole thing like beyonce's so rich and i'm so poor like but we're family because family isn't always blood you know and clearly like i don't i mean i don't think she would be happy having a relationship with the mistress her father had that split up her parents i mean make it make sense an inside edition exclusive as Beyonce's half-brother visits his new trailer park home for the very first time. A homeless support group arranged for the trailer so Alexandra wouldn't be out on the street after she was forced to go on public assistance. I'm in the middle of the fight for my son's rights. I got over a thousand death threats last week alone. For um, what? Uh, because this article said that I blame Beyonce, which again, let me say for the record, it's not her fault. I've never blamed her. I want the best for her. Everyone's in pain. So unfortunately, he will probably never meet Beyonce, which I don't necessarily think he's entitled to. Maybe that's a little bit heartless, but like, it's just a complicated situation. And he's not the only one. Former lingerie model Decoya Branscombe filed legal documents in Texas claiming that Matthew got her pregnant in 2010, the same year his ex-wife filed for divorce. Well, she did in 29, but around the same time. Beyonce has a little sister and Decoya was looking for child support. Her daughter's name is Koi and she, of course, had an affair with Matthew and that's where she came from. They also did paternity tests to confirm that he is the father. She claims they had a relationship and an affair, but he has no desire to have any relationship with her daughter at all but she feels adamant on protecting her daughter and she wants that child support supposedly he did try to pay her some hush money about two hundred twenty-five thousand dollars, which he thinks that would keep her from going to court but that didn't at all he was ordered to pay back more than seventy-one thousand dollars in child support now we all know that beyonce has a sister named solange and she actually is 
friends with this woman her father was sleeping with. The mother of Matthew Knowles' alleged love child is a close friend of his daughter, Solange, but the singer had no idea about the affair. Hmm, not a good friend. Sequoia is a model turned real estate agent and she met Solange through a stylist in 2008. They would go out to the clubs and the bars together. Matthew knew that his daughter Solange was friends with his, you know, mistress. But Solange had no idea they were having an affair. So he's got all of these love children and I'm sure Beyonce doesn't really appreciate the other siblings. It's probably made her life and her mother's life a lot more difficult. And it's also sad that Matthew doesn't want to father these children at all. I mean, he went from building an empire with Beyonce to almost trying to destroy it and thank God she got out of his control. For nearly 20 years, Beyonce's father, Matthew Knowles, was the guiding force behind this superstar. Matthew managed Beyonce in her first group, Girls' Time. and later, Destiny's Child, and then her solo career. In March 2011, Beyonce announced she was dropping her father as her manager. So now let's talk about how Beyonce fired her own father. Quote, he was a thief. Beyonce reportedly fired her father for stealing hundreds of thousands of dollars from her. Allegations surfaced against Matthew that he had stolen some money from Beyonce's fund. The allegations were proven by an audit released by a law firm. Matthew strongly denies the claims, but there were, you know, reports that proved that he had stolen this money. But Matthew claims that the law firm took a part in his firing, performing an audit to find which funds were missing. And, you know, as it turns out, indeed, the lawsuit concluded that her father had been taking this money. I mean, do you guys believe him? He's willing to go to court. He says that he wants to take Live Nation Entertainment to court and examine how the audit was done and determine, like, how was he actually at fault? Which I get that. I mean, if he is innocent, then he deserves to prove that. Matthew claims that Live Nation wanted to desperately sink its fangs into Beyonce's world tour, and they decided to try to take Matthew out of the equation to get to her. Now, as you know, he was accused by Live Nation and others of stealing money from his daughter, but now he's speaking up about the claims. Knowles tells the Associated Press it's not true and that people are just trying to destroy his reputation. He said in a statement, we absolutely have not taken any money from Beyonce and all dollars will be accounted for. Beyonce is a very proper celebrity. She really wants the best and doesn't want this drama out here. She claims that she only parted with her father on a business level. He is her father for life and she loves her dad dearly. She's grateful for everything that he had taught her and she's ready to move on to, you know, bigger things. She actually sat down with Oprah to talk about this and here's what she had to say. So right out the box on, on Life is But a Dream, you talk so openly about letting your father go as your manager. How hard was it to come to that decision? One of the hardest things I've ever done. You know, someone you love, someone that's given you life, someone that's done such a fantastic job. You know, it's, it's hard, mm -hmm. but it's a part of life and it's a part of growth. And I had to tell myself, at some point you have to be the adult that your father has raised mm -hmm. you to be and prepared you to be. Even though Beyonce is trying to keep this on a business level, I think it is very personal. And looking at all the baggage and the issues that Matthew has, there's no way that he has not, you know, added some trauma to her life and some distrust. And it's really unfortunate because he's also not one to take accountability for any of this. When you're trying to have an everyday conversation with your parents, you have to talk about scheduling and you have to talk about your album and performing and touring, it's just too stressful. And it really affects your relationships. I needed boundaries. And I think my, my dad needed boundaries. I needed a break. I needed my dad. And did you get your dad back? No. At the end of the day, we didn't get the truth on why these two had this feud and this falling out, but it doesn't seem like they're on great terms anymore and haven't been for a long time. This article writes, perhaps another reason why Beyonce bailed on her father as her manager is because he can't even handle his own cash flow properly. In 2013, TMZ reported that Matthew was slapped with a tax lien from the IRS for more than $1.2 million, then again for another $200,000. Then he was sued for $64,000 by an account firm and then in 2015 he was sued again 
for $64,000. Beyonce has also expressed herself through her music, like in her song, Daddy Lessons, where she talks a little bit about, you know, her father and his infidelity, and he wasn't the best man. Matthew was very irritated at the song, and he actually said, I have no reaction to it. I know the response you want to get, you're not going to get that response, but we can sit here all day and night and talk about it. He says, I'd rather not get into speculation. So my answer about her music is I don't know. I can only speak of being a proud father. I think Beyonce has pushed the envelope on creativity. So he might be trying to keep the peace publicly, but when it came to his wedding, his daughters didn't show up. Actually, I guess none of his children showed up because he's also got these two other love childs. But he married a woman named Gina in Texas, and we did not see Beyonce or Solange there because they had previous engagements. Wow. Like they couldn't go to their father's wedding. This absence further solidifies the rumors that Beyonce is on outs with her dad. Beyonce famously fired him as her manager, as we talked about, and he's got all these other kids. So I'm sure she has more than plenty of reasons to cut her father off. And when it comes to his relationship with Beyonce, there have been some legal battles as well. Like he got into a lawsuit over Destiny's Child royalties and it got nasty. Andrette Tillman was a big part of Destiny's Child and their success and he ended up passing away. He died of lupus in 1997, but he was part of the deal when it came to these royalties. So his estate is owed this money, yet uh, Matthew never paid it. So really Tillman and his family, the estate should be getting this money from his work. You know, he worked so hard to set up his family for success and then he unfortunately died. Yeah, Matthew isn't paying this. He's using the money for his own gain. He's also had some troubles at home because his landlord went after him. Matthew Knowles was sued for $390,000 by his former landlord, but Matthew accuses the building manager of using the insular. According to court documents, the decorative center of Houston was suing Matthew. They claim that he signed a seven-year lease for an office space in 2017 but he breached the deal by vacating the premises prior to the expiration of the lease. And he owed over $100,000 in rent. Matthew claims that this building was not up to par. There were leaks, there were power outages. He went back and forth, like they filed this lawsuit and then he did a countersuit saying, oh no, 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 I am right here because you guys screwed me over with the building. So, I mean, I didn't get to see the building. I can't tell you the truth. But another lawsuit under his belt doesn't look good. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you in a new one soon. Bye guys.